What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing another Modern Cube Draft. We are doing another stipulation today. This one is from Not the Plague. And this stipulation is a weird one. A stip is among us. Draft cards that look sus, like Nifty Chris, in case you guys missed the uh, the Among Us stream that we did. Uh, Nifty Chris was a, a suspect a significant amount of the time. And then I was like, I don't know what that means, not the plague. So what do I, what do I, I have no idea how to do this dip. And he was like, okay, well, draft clone effects and rogues. He spelled it rouges, like people do. And things with death touch. Or if they just, you know, look sus in the pick. So this is going to be a real, uh, it's going to be a tricky one. I'm not sure how we're going to actually manage it. We're, it's going to be real. We're going to, we're going to really fly by the seat of our pants here, guys. That's really what I'm trying to say. Also, worth noting, Jaybro is 30 trophies ahead of the next person in line. Not a reasonable amount. So just the normal, yeah, just the normal Frank draft where we take all the sus, all the sus cards. Uh, because that's just how we do anyway. Literally describing what I did is sus despite it being my first time playing today. <laughs> being honest is, it's true because, the, you know, you're sometimes when you're being honest, people think you're lying. Also, I would probably never trust Thanos in a game of Among Us. For some reason, I just feel like he's way too... Sus? Oh, Phyrexian Metamorph's gotta be the most suspect card in this pack, right? Also, Beast Within is pretty sus. I would take... I think I would take Ashiok if I was not. See, effing same stuff people were saying about me earlier. So, Taunus, I don't know, it's hard to explain. But, like, Taunus has this this quality where he, like, he definitely takes the initiative and tries to convince you of things. Or, like, or like teach you things. And I think that comes across as, like, like, I could definitely see him doing it in the game in order to, like, disguise his... uh identity right so i'm like it's it's so weird it's very weird like i don't know i can't it's hard to explain it's hard to like quantify it or put in words but like Thanos is a very like self-assured way about him and i think if he he uses that in the game it's gonna be very very like i'm gonna be like hey man you're coming on real like you're coming on a little a little uh, a little too self-assured you know what i mean so it's gonna feel like it's it's almost gonna feel like it's not legit but it is because that's just how he is so it's like it's almost like his regular personality like lends itself to seeming you guys get what i'm saying but anyway yeah every time Thomas would say something i'd probably be like this is some bullshit right he's just making this up right you think tubes is sus i thought tubes was kind of sus as well Creeping Tarpit's not even a thing. This is the most... I think this it's got to be this card, right? Let's take a Creeper. Oh, you guys are... This is actually a murderer. Yeah, this is, an, this is literally an imposter. <sighs> oh, this has Death Touch. So that's cool. This is a rogue. But this guy has Death Touch. Oh, this guy has Death Touch too. Ooh, which of the Death Touchers is it? Hmm. This is going to be easier to cast. Let's take... I think it's I think it's Worm. You say Leech? Is it... I assume Worm is Leech. <laughs> oh, this is a Fairy Rogue. Is there anything more sus than that? A Pulse? That's a big ass leech. This is a leech disguising disguising itself as a worm, so that's already pretty sus. I think it's just rankle because it's a rogue. Oh, that's a this is a death toucher, and this dude is sus AF. I'm gonna take this fat idiot. Hmm. Ba -da 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 -da. This kills a thing. It's a murder card. I mean, I can. I think. I think defending the cards that kill things are are uh, 
pretty pretty easy to sell, right? Like this is a rat ninja. This kills the thing though. Dang it. Gary is sus. What is he hauling? <laughs> what do you got in there, merchant? You doing your quests? Actually, they're called tasks. Dang it. I, I really want the hero's downfall, but I think... I, I gotta be honest, this seems more sus to me. We're also not any other color right now, so that's interesting. I took this for the good of the stip. No, no... No, not really. I mean, eh, no, no. I mean, like the only I'm like the only argument I can make is this dude's like covered up. Like none of these other cards have have any suspiciousness whatsoever. <laughs> Midnight what? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, death touch again. All right. Are we just drafting mono black? Is mono black the the Among Us deck? Did Kermit order friggin' Wow, Kermit ordered Super Fritz food at like 1am? Yeah, I'll just take this. I don't think any of those cards had any sort of... Any sort of suspicious nature to them whatsoever. Oh, Emery being a lurker, actually. That could have been all right. Oh, the Whirler Rogue. Okay, cool. Yeah, we can... Uh, eh, we know what you are. You're fine. You're a rogue. You can make the, the cut. Doomfall kills the thing. I think that's probably... Fine. You're a, you turn into something else. You little, you little sneaker. Oh, Grey Merchant came back? actually fairly exciting would you like a pizza I'm good for now but if you guys want to if you guys want to give me some food later in the week I would definitely be, be game for that Patanas though thank you man I really appreciate the offer this is beautiful thanks buddy <laughs> oh man Thomas and Kerwit being like the friggin food angels is fantastic I feel like we're actually leaning pretty heavily into mono black here. And this dude is... Look at this. This should be a zombie rogue, for crying out loud. What do you got in those bags, buddy? Alright. This guy seems real sus. Um, this guy's got float and death touch. It's got to be Nighthawk, right? I feel like it's Nighthawk. I mean, we're sticking with the Death Touch team. Death Touch was specifically mentioned. Today, we got ramen from one of our favorite places. They now offer a DIY kit with their broth, par-cooked noodles, and the add-ins to sear and finish at home. So much better. That sounds awesome, actually. I think it is probably... I mean, a gear hook's an option, but I don't want to have too many six drops. Taking this seems... I wonder if I can make an... Ex I mean, it's going to make a, an argument for this? It brings creatures back from the dead? I just got to take the Nighthawk. I think it's just the best for this dip. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. I actually have no idea. Inquisition does reveal information, which is kind of like... Hmm.
Yeah, I'll take Inquisition here. Yogmoth. That guy seems like he's got a problem. Mind Shatter would be... I mean, like, we're trying to look at our colors now. Um... Because I don't think any of these other cards are... Like, I just don't... I haven't gotten a real sus vibe from any other colors but black. <laughs> that didn't turn to rubber or mush. That's a good quality. I think this guy being a physician actually seems pretty sus to me. I don't know. Like, he also puts counters on things. He kills things. Interest. Oh, Mimic Vat. Mimic Vat's real sus, right? Like, this is just makes copies of things. Yeah, let's go with Mimic Vat. Murderous Rider kills a thing. Oracle of Have Truths. That seems good, though. Are we going to splash blue or are we just going to play mono black? I think it's got to be Oracle here. 11 cards, three are going to come back. I'll take Atris. Could just be Drowned Catacomb here. Gristlebrand is kind of funny. Uh, Fiend Artisan. That dude's legit sus, but if we're going to play the Atros, I think we just need Drowned Catacomb, unfortunately. Oh, wow, I was going to take Fiend Artisan. J-Link, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for hanging out, my dude. If you dip your spicy nug into the chocolate frosty and eat it together, you come super close to seeing God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, None of these cards are super sus to me. Maybe Baral, just because he's got, like, this cloak on. Eh. I mean, Elder Spell just kills Planeswalkers. It's a murder card. We'll just take it for the sideboard, I guess. This has a bunch of eyes on it. That seems... This also has several eyes on it. No. 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 I think I'm just taking Blink here. Oh, the whip came back. Yeah, that seems fine. Bringing creatures back from the dead could also be uh, Among Us themed because you get to float around as a ghost and do your tasks. So, you know. No, no. I don't think so. I guess it's kind of a rogue. Eh, this can kill things. Whatever. Take an extra turn. Is that a... That's not really a... Spyglass is probably fine, right? Because it's like... It's peaking with information. Um, I want to take Harvester because it just else. That's a late Elspeth. Kithkin is pretty sus because that dude changes into other things. I don't know about all that. Octopus mutates. That's all I need to know. got here 
Riffling Cloudskate is an illusion. That's pretty sus. Is Ohio the Midwest? Oh, Go for the Throat's good too. Yeah, we can definitely... See, it's funny because Go for the Throat, I was like, it's... It's just a, it's just a guy, it's just like a vampire killing something else. That's not sus, but then I was like, oh, it just kills. That makes sense. Scarab God returns things to life. Yeah, I'll take Scarab God. Sure, why not? <laughs> That's F sus. <laughs> Uh, Champion of Wits can come back. Packrat's not super sus. Bribery's not really. I made an apple cream cheese pastry. <laughs> this better be good. How did I not see this? That looks... That looks banging. This is this is Thomas's cream cheese paste. This looks friggin' amazing. I would slay that. I think it's actually Champion of Wits here. I mean, we definitely have minimal blue, blue, one blue, one blue, one blue, one blue. I would not mind a watery grave or a polluted delta or both. Oh, a breeding pool. Okay. Um, Murderous red cap definitely seems pretty sus. Phyrexian arena. Not super sus. Um, same. Eh. I think it is red cap. And the two drops are kind of lacking a little bit here. Outwitting fits thing was that what is that a reference to? <laughs> two drops aren't, I guess. I guess that's the problem. With red caps and anthems and images. You just want to copy all the red caps and make them deal a bunch of damage when they come in? Um, I don't hate Reflecting Pool, but the problem is like we only need one blue right now, so Reflecting Pool is literally just going to be two blue. You guys want to make arguments here? I have no idea. Liliana's decent. Frost Titan's decent. Doom Whisper is decent. Cyclonic Rift. I mean, Doom Whisper is a, a little sus, yeah. Oh, Obliterator. I mean, that's a horror. No. No. Yeah, we're just going to take the obliterator. Because we know what's up. Blood Ghast. You're not very... Stratus Dancer as a morph is actually pretty sus, right? Like, this turns into something else. Yeah, I agree. Um... Mm. 
Meh. It's either Finale or Kalidas, I think. I'll take Finale. We don't have a ton of removal here. And I could... Oh, the go for the throw came back, which we already agreed was relatively sus. <laughs> God, I'm sorry I forgot those guys watching that I'm saying sus so much. Eh. Probably Gravecrawler. He sneaks up. And you can come out of a vent. Tooth and Nail becomes other things. Vampire Hex Mage kills Planeswalkers. I think that's fine. So you have to make like two cuts here. There are grave crawlers in the vents. Uh, yeah, kind of. Genesis Hydra becomes something else. Teferi sneaks in, and sure, that's fine. Okay. We don't have enough cards if we cut the black, right? We can cut Champion, Scarab God, Atris, and the two. That's five. We go to 20. We can put in Hexmage, Doomfall. Okay, so this is going to go in the three slot. I don't know how good Yawgmoth is in our deck. Hmm. Man, if we had Bitter Blossom, I think Rankle and Yawgmoth would both be better. And they make Fairy Rogues, so it would have been super, super on brand. I am going to go to the bathroom real quick before we build this. Alright, we're back. We made, a little, we made, made some cuts. We actually cut uh, Stratus Dancer, Champion of Wits. We added Hex Mage and Grave Crawler. Uh, and then we also took out something else. Took out Stratus Answer. Took out Champion. Hmm. And then we added these two. But what do we else? Did we take out something else? We had 25 cards, didn't we? Oh, Cloudskate. Took out Cloudskate, Dancer, and Champion. Because this guy actually could be good with uh, Yawgmoth. And if we have like another zombie in play, we can just. Sack it, make a zombie, sack it, make a zombie, sack him, make a zombie. Well, anyway, let's go three of these. So this is 13, 16, and I'll add one drowned. And then we have 41 here, we do need one cut. I kind of like, I kind of just want to ink. I actually, I don't know, maybe ink eyes is trash. Let's cut the ink eyes. All right. Let's see how sus this deck is. <laughs> Good times. I went through with it and got annoyed with your code. It's not for security. What's it for? Oh. Is it for... Hmm. I was like, oh. Oh, boy. Thomas, either way, I appreciate it, buddy. This seems fine. We can cast Obliterator, and that's really the important thing. Is it for sus reasons? <laughs> yeah, probably. Most Mostly what I use my VPN for is downloading movies. So like if I'm going to download like TV shows or like movies we want to watch, then like I'm going to, I'm going to turn on the VPN because I've literally downloaded like a Game of Thrones episode 
and I got emailed. I got an email from like Comcast and they were like, hey, we noticed someone from this IP recently downloaded this. Please make sure not to do that. And I was like, cool. I guess I'll just hide it from you now. I guess I'll just never tell you what I'm doing, Comcast. Look at all these, look at all these dirtles. Give me an obliterator. Oh, that's actually pretty decent. The next time we can go Scarab Gun? Yeah, yeah. Furkin Motor because he does some website that was showing the same episode as down. Yeah, like, same thing. Like, I'll download all my... Like, all the TV shows that I like definitely should have access to. I just download them. Like, I was watching Mad Men for, like, the third or fourth time. And I was on season six. And then it was, like, literally I was watching it. And then the next day Netflix took it off. And I was like... Uh... Sure. I mean, Nighthawk is basically a removal against these guys, right? Um. So, like, I just downloaded 6 and 7. And I was like, I'll just watch it this way. Boo -doo -doo -doo. Nothing. Fascinating. Hmm. <laughs> Those both have first strike? Yeah, let's not do that. I got a scarab gun. Baby back rib. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, that was a good game. Not for them, per se, but, you know, for us. Bunch of one, three one-toughness creatures. I mean, like, if we can finale for three there, it's pretty good. Whoop, whoop, whoop. See you later. Say 69% off NordVPN. Actually, Tom, it's 68%. And then you get one free month, buddy. So. <sighs> Unbelievable. Oh, you also said Frank Laporn, which is actually pretty funny. Guys, we have three islands in the deck. And look, they're all right here. Snap keep. I'll get rid of one of these guys. Oh, they didn't play a two drop. Okay. And we have three things to play next turn. I refuse to try NordVPN until I get at least 69% off. Wow. Dang. That's a... That's a stance. Oof. Big oof. I mean, Vampire Nighthawk, even if they have, like, Honor of the Pure, Vampire Nighthawk holds them off pretty well. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Oh, frame of one long book. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, this is my life now. I think I need a haircut again. 
I'm now connected via NordVP. Wow, that was fast. Oh, oh boy. Plus plus. Thomas, thank you for thank you for trying it out, man. Really appreciate it, dude. Do it, do it. I don't know what I was trying to say. I think I was trying to say dude, but then I, I think I combined two words. It was a real Mike B moment. I have no interest in blocking when I have a whip in hand, or a uh, mimic vat rather. I mean, they can get this back, but not without four other cards, so it's pretty fine. Oh, we can actually, oh, we can never return their Elspeth. Ooh, that's nice. Here comes a journey to nowhere. Honor of the pure, sure. Yeah, that's all fine. Really? <gasps> wow. <laughs> Yep, that was pretty decent. Conclave Tribunal, targeting my. Yep, that's good. That's good. I'm gonna pass here, I'll just take six. Kinda wanna play Metamorph targeting Vampire Nighthawk or Scarab God actually. Yeah, that seems good. We can actually get back their like glory bound initiate. Maybe. Okay. Well that's Still fine. I mean, I'll chump here if if that's what it comes down to. Oh yeah, that's fine because we still get Vampire Nighthawk back as a four four. And if you want to attack with Wilt Leaf Leash, I will definitely block that as well. This actually seems fine, barring no surprises. Yeah, snap that off. That's interesting. Probably want to get Nighthawk back first, right? Yeah, I also have, yeah, when I'm, I, don't, I have to turn it off when I upload things. I have the same problem. Where, like, whenever I use a VPN, my upload kind of suffers, but then my download is usually fine. Yep, don't care about any of these things. I mean, if we can get Vampire Nighthawk out and then go Grey Merchant, I think we're actually doing decently well. Atris. I'm gonna bottom mattress. I'd rather just have a land here almost. Ooh. Actually, that gives us Mimic Vat and Hex Mage. Let's not do it like that.
We can also metamorph copying the Nighthawk or the Blade Splicer, which is kind of nice. Oh, we just we have Grey Merchant in hand. We're just going to copy Grey Merchant next turn. Yeah, that seems good. One, two, three, four, five. This is seven, and then we copy it. Not next turn, obviously, but... Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we might just have to copy that guy, actually. Or copy the Blade Splicer. Yogmoth, mm, you don't do anything here, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five. We take they go to fifth. We go to fifteen. Spear of Heliod's kind of obnoxious. Blade Splicer is nice because both tokens can block the Mirror Crusader. We can also put one underneath the, uh, well, underneath the Mimic Vat. Gotta love East Tech. 47 down, 17 up. 17 up is pretty good. 14 down, though. Not so much. Sunlance, kill that. Sure. Having a Phyrexian Metamorph underneath a Mimic Vat is pretty insane. Really? This guy doesn't have Trample, right? Yes. Oh yeah, 100%. That's nuts. Click a permanent to copy it. I did, right? It's it's clicked, right? I don't want to say no. What? That was weird. <laughs> All right. That was very strange. I kind of like Red Cap, but he doesn't really do anything here other than make our Grey Merchant bigger. All right. I mean, Metamorph comes in, hits, hits Great Merchant, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we just kill them with Vampire Nighthawk. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, dude. This is a wild number of anthems. So we can take two hits here, and we're already, they just have to alpha here. Yep, that's fine. So one, two, three, four, five. We can take two hits, five and five. So we have to block three of these guys. Well, we can't make a copy of Spear yet because we only have one mana up, buddy block obvious here obvious here and 
obvious. Well, I think it's obvious here. This guy comes back and then just kills them, right? So. Well, no, because we can actually metamorph and put a, another one. Yeah, so it's, let's get rid of this thing. Okay, no. Okay, no. I mean, I don't think they, there's nothing they can do here, right? Like, we just put a copy of Grey Merchant in play. Oh, Grave Daddy. Yeah, I'll keep that guy. I mean, just. They have one card. Okay. Oh my god, they just kill it with... Wait, really? Oh, wow. We misplayed because we waited, but, like, they could have killed this in response to us mimic vatting. So... Yeah, like... We misplayed, but they misplayed worse, so. Oh man, 1-0. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Bortina, where's the hot streaming Michael B-Man? Michael B-Man is, is sleeping in his Michael bed. But, you know. I'll let him know you stopped by. This is a good curve. If we can draw a go for the throat, island, other land. Okay, well, that's the other land part. Missed that two drop spot, so. Now you can replace it with something else if you'd like. Michael didn't even get his new shirt. I gotta go to the mailbox and go get his, our, our mail. Because even when you tell Michael that he has a mail, he never goes and gets it. I don't understand people. Oh man. Wild. Truly wild. just copying this guy unexcitedly like we take two to do this but like if they kill this guy we probably would have taken two from whatever they had and if we didn't block this guy we're probably taking two that way so and we get this guy off the board and next turn we can red cap this okay so that's fine we take two less we do go to seven unless they have like lightning bolt and then we go to three Okay. If 
you had another spell to play, I don't know why you wouldn't have waited. Or why you would have waited, I guess. They could sack this. That doesn't do anything. I was trying to figure out if it does something. No way, man. When I'm expecting something, I got like five different tabs with tracking infos. And I refresh them like every day. I'm like, is it coming tomorrow? Is it coming the next day? Coming the day after that? Oh, it's coming tomorrow now? Well, this was fascinating. Come on, blue source. One time. We do get to play both of these next turn, which is alright. I am afraid of like big fat flying idiots. Male butlers. My god. Lifestyles of the rich and famous over here. Yep, that guy's pretty good. This play makes a lot more sense now. Oh boy, that's a... I'm not going to attack just... Well, even if they attacked with this guy, we're still dead, so... This guy's never attacking is the problem, so we're going to just get him in there. Hope we don't die. Probably dead. Whip of Erebos would be a sick draw if we survive this turn. That being said, I don't think we're going to survive this turn. <laughs> There's a dog that hangs out near my mailbox sometimes. He might be a butler. I never asked. <sighs> you gotta ask, man. Alright, I don't know why we took fucking three minutes to do that, but... What do I know? <laughs> Let's bring in this Aether Sphere Harvester. Probably take out. Yeah, that seems fine. Do you have a tracking app for your phone? No, is that a thing? I'll say what? Let's see. Hmm. I think we can just kill all of these dudes. I think we just take the searing blaze. That's wild. I've never even heard of a, a tracking app. And it's always Bowman Courier, right? Yeah. How does it get all of your tracking numbers into it? Does it just know? Wow. It's gonna go land. And then Soul Scar Mage or Scrounger, probably Scrounger, right? <laughs> okay. You got it. We just need one more land here. And then we can finale all their two drops. Their two toughness creatures. Similar but different. I put all my packages in it. Though anything I buy from a Shopify-based store shows up automatically, and it's pretty good about picking up Amazon deliveries for me. That's pretty sweet. What's it called? Oh, literally probably just a Shopify app? I've never heard of anything like this. Four damage to target creature. Do -do 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 -do. It's called Shop. Wow, that's pretty... That's pretty generic. Hmm. I'm 
We still just want to hit a land, unfortunately. <coughs> well, that's not what we're looking for. I mean, I just want them to go Scrap Heap, Soul Scar Mage. That's all I want. I'm gonna probably download it right now, actually. Oh, there it is. That's crazy. Land. Cool. Well, no fourth land is pretty bad when we have four drop, five drop, six drop card that we want four mana for. Yep, that's pretty good. And I just used my never return. That seems terrible. Would you look at that? I don't think we can stand taking six, especially if we take two from here. So. It's really bad. Pretty sure we're just dead here because we, I mean, it's turn six and we missed two land drops, so. I mean, otherwise we'd be slamming a Grave Titan right now and they would have no guys on board for a couple turns, so. You know magic basically Kerbert can I access it um on bra in, a, in a desktop browser like this is 4 damage right here so Wait, what? Yeah, we're just dead, right? Like... Anyway. I don't need, like, a desktop app for it. I just need to be able to... Like, I just want to be able to go to the website and check my packages that way, you know? Da, da, da. Well, if nothing else, our Among Us draft went 1 2. And that's okay. Let's play a Mimic Bat. Yield until... 
None of those. Are you the Frank Laporte? I think so. It's really hard to say sometimes. I wouldn't mind drawing just land, land. Drowned catacombs, other land. Kick it. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> He's so good at this game. Did I miss a land drop? No. Interesting. I think we're metamorphing. I want to copy this, take the counter off Chalice, and put the metamorph under here. got it I guess we don't get to do that you were eating something really cute that day what does that even mean We actually should have paid three. We drew. All right. Solid match. Oh, it wearing something. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I have no idea what any of this is. I don't know what's going on right now. Seems good. Definitely should have uh, played Metamorph for three last turn and just taken the two, I think. But we'll see if it punishes us. Mm, not ideal. How's the suspect win? I have to do a bit more silver work. Hey, God, you're so... God, get a load of this guy. He retires, and now all he does is... work on his trade. We are currently 1-1. One, one. big moles I like it uh, whenever you return a creature the camera has X from your graveyard to the battlefield with a corpse counter on it okay so we can actually bring back metamorph to draw to that seems pretty cool
Give me them crads, boy. Of course. Of course. <laughs> it's like, yep. Yeah. So missing two land drops have drawn two extra cards. Yeah, let's definitely put that guy under the vat. And now we can actually Ice Wrath get back Vampire Hex Mage if we need to. <coughs> uh, sure, that's going to hit Mimic Vat, I'm sure. Oh god, I just got a message from Katie saying Watson exploding. And Watson, like, just threw up before she went to bed, so... Oh, God. Yep, these are all very good. Where are the lands at? Nobody knows. I guess we're just attacking for dose. Poor Wallathy, you're right. Oh man, Wallathy's having a rough go. Well, actually, it's Watson, so what? Watson me. Uh, no, not gonna. Hey, little bud. You just get to eat this. Definitely not putting that under the fat instead. That's just strictly worse than the. Mall Drifter. Mana Leak. And I'm just going to pay this. Because we're not going to do anything else with this mana this turn anyway, so... Gum's gotten mintier lately. Uh, okay, sure. Sublime Epiphany, Conscripts, Spark Double, Bane Slayer. You got it. What's Tholomew? Yeah, that's perfect. That's basically the... Hmm. They didn't do anything. Okay. I mean, I also don't have to do anything here. The only card they can play is Sublime Epiphany, which is very good, but... Hmm. Okay. 
So I just get to play Doom Whisper. I mean, they get the Zealous Conscript Steel at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I kind of just want to Chupacabra the, the Stupid Revoker because now we know these four cards and one random card. So... I will not be putting that underneath. That seems fine. Okay, so we know th still know three of the four cards in their hand. Cracking Mesa. Gum's gotten mintier lately. Have you noticed that? Oh, this is... Oh, they're going to tap out to play another Band Slayer? Sure. I mean, I just get to go for the throat, never return and attack for seven, and they get no Bane Slayers. That seems good. This guy's gone. I'm actually not going to put Main Slayer under there. I think the Muldrifter is still better. <laughs> uh, Spark Double? No, still no. I'm good with Tubes under here. No. Put him to five. I mean, getting rid of both Bane Slayers is pretty good. Also, Sublime Epiphany being unable to copy. Sure. Interesting. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana total. Well, considering I haven't lands in several turns, they can't cast Epiphany here. Okay. Uh, we saw Teferi and we saw Jace, at the very least. <clears throat> Don't make red cat. I guess it kills Muldrifter and it kills the, uh... What was the other thing we saw? I'll take Rankle out. Bring in Doomfall, bring in Elder Spell. Probably take out Yawgmoth. Doesn't seem great. I 
we'll keep. This hand seems great. This hand seems not great. Pull this out of here. Katie's gonna take Watson to work tomorrow. She's worried he has a foreign body. Seagram Coast is gone. Nighthawk into Atris into Doom Whisperer seems pretty good. Let's plant island? Sure. And plants. What's it gone? Chalice. Chalissimo. Flip them. <laughs> but he didn't realize I had already moved out because my mom and I are quarreling because I can't stay out of her stuff. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, I'm just taking these two. As someone with no more lands in hand. It's definitely a good Bane Slayer turn. <sighs> Ideally, we draw Ravenous Chupacabra. Oh, this is this is like Karn, Aleshnorn. Nothing. I don't know what's going on. Okay, Bane Slayer. Oh my God! Remember that time I was like, I hope we can draw Chupacabra. And there it was, dude. There it was, just sitting on the top. Oh my God. It's like we're living in a dream. Lucky, 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 lucky. Solomgar, that's good. It's pretty good. They could conscripts and steal this. They attack for 6, 79, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's a lot. It still seems better than not playing it. I am I am clearly the Jupe Whisperer, yes. Okay, so we know they have conscripts and two other cards. Yep, that's what they're doing. Just these, oh, just these three, okay. Oh, all of them, everybody's coming in six. And I'll just take 14. We can go to 10, then go back up to 16. That's actually pretty insane. Uh, 
I just want to make sure we can connect and gain some life here. I don't know what else they can have. They can have like Cyclonic Rift. Like we can play around Mana Leak. Uh, copy this. Steal this. Keep ours. And uh, pop a red cap, hit you for two. So now even if they like wipe the board, we still get murderous red cap and the worm coil tokens back, so using Dragonlord Silumgar as a chupacabra seems pretty sweet. Either way, not the plague, man. This is a sweet step. Thank you for the support, buddy. I hope this was sus enough for you. And uh, definitely be sure to check out manatraders.com, guys. They have an awesome Magic Online subscription service. You can get 15% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below in the description. You can also uh, get 68% off a two-year subscription through nordvpn.org slash franklapore plus one month free. So that's a great deal as well. Check those both out. They're great ways to support the channel. I get kickbacks from both because they are sponsors. And uh, that way you get a you get to you get to support the channel and you get to uh, you get to great get some great services out of them as well. So Watson is still throwing up, so kind of getting worried about the little guy. <laughs> yeah, dog sad face is right. Oh, man. I don't know what's going on here. They're taking some time here. We got... I don't know any of the cards in their hand, so... Spark Double Zealous. This is actually pretty good. So, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They steal this. We block it. This might put us to one. Oh, boy. Oh, wait, they don't get to steal something when this when they take this. That's interesting. So that was probably the wrong pick. Yeah, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, this is fine. I'll just block the 4. I don't want to go to 1 here, so... Eh, shoot your face doesn't really matter okay thank you guys for watching 2-1 not too bad not too bad i'll take it really appreciate you guys hanging out i'll see you guys next time be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons or follow and subscribe on twitch that also helps i'll see you later